this life is old. I'll fly away, fly away. Give me DIY. Uh, my daughter got the Jeep hot the other day, and uh, so uh, found out she had a hole in the radiator. Replaced the radiator, uh, but she's still getting hot. I know it don't need a water pump because I just put one of those in there. All the fluid checks and stuff. And I put a thermostat in it, hoping that would be it, but it's still getting hot, so I suspected a blow head gasket because she said they got it so hot it started knocking. That ain't good. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to show you uh, how I uh, diagnosed the uh, blow head gasket. So, uh, First thing, I've always, I picked this up at the Harbor Freight. I've had this for a while. Pittsburgh compression test set, test kit. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. At your local Harbor Freight store, any auto zone, any in places you've got one. So you open the kit up, and you got some, uh, you got everything you need in there now. I had to buy some things here at the Harbor Freight to hook into an air hose. So let me show you how I did it. So I had one of these in the kit. All right. So I had to make sure this fit fit down in the cylinder. And uh, of course, if it don't or where the uh, spark plug goes, you got different. Attachments here. Here you can use to go down into your, uh, where your spark plug goes. All right. So I had to take the uh, spark plug, spark plugs out one at a time looking at it. And it's usually, one of the videos I've seen is, it's usually right in the middle, so. I just took out, this in the inline uh, six, so I took out number three uh, plug just to check, and uh, I was gonna do a compression check on it too. But uh, when I took it out, I seen water in it, so. So this is what you gotta do. So. I hook this in. It's an air nozzle, air hose. Screw this in. I'm going to screw this into the cylinder right now. Hopefully you can see that. There it is. Try to get my glove on with it. So anyway, you're gonna screw that down in there like that. So let me do that and I'll show you from here. Okay. So that screw down into there. So I'm gonna put this extent. I can put the water air hose on it right now. And it, I think I'll just do that, but I, I can put this extension on it. See, it goes into here, and then I'll have it sticking way up to put my air hose on. But it will fit over on the air hose now. I'm going to go ahead and just do that so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So let's look at that. So see how that's extended out? So now I can stick the air hose on here. So I'm gonna show you what it does immediately. Okay, so take the radiator cap off, set it here. 
make sure you got water in it. That's enough. Alright, so here we go. This is what happens when you got a leak uh, from your um, your gasket, your head gas is going into your uh, ports of your uh, cylinder wall there. You know, they cross. They're not supposed to. This is what happens. <laughs> Saying the water come out right here. That's not good. That's terrible. That's a real bad leak. Watch it here again. You can't have that. So definitely a blowed head gasket or a cracked cylinder or something that's crossing in there. Hopefully it's just a bad, you know, a head gasket scope. We're gonna have to tear this head completely off there and change all that, so. There you go, folks. Hope that helped you. Like I said, you can buy all that stuff at Harbor Freight, even the connections and everything. And you can go through each cylinder and see if you hear air coming up through there. Do compression checks, of course. There's a good video out there. Or they got that CO2 uh, checker where you can suck it up there and it'll change colors. That would work, too. I'm going to pick me one of those up next time I go out. That's good to have, say, if you're going to try to... Uh, look for a car uh, you can check that out you know that's a quick check you can suck the fluid up in there uh, and see if you somebody has a boat head gasket but it but it's kind of running like this too where it was a little bit smoother and definitely it gets hot real quick so that was the problem but it's shimmying like it so it tells me you know you got the two cylinders coinciding with each other causing a misfire so hope that helped you out there and uh, as always, keep Christ first in your life. God is good. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything He does. And, he, and uh, as always, thank you and God bless you.